Hey guys, today we gonna talk about WAN and its technologies. So, what is a WAN? A wide area network or WAN is a geographically distributed telecommunications network that interconnects multiple networks. WANs allow users to share access to applications, services, and other centrally located resources. This eliminates the need to install the same application server, firewall, or other resources in multiple locations, for example WANs are not restricted to the same geographical location as a LAN would be. A LAN can be set up in any number of geographical areas and be connected to a WAN meaning a WAN is not constrained to one specific location. Now coming to the different types of WAN technologies there are eight types of WAN technologies number one is packet switching packet switching is a method of data transmission in which a message is broken into several parts called packets that are sent independently in triplicate over whatever route is optimum for each packet and reassembled at the destination each packet contains a piece part called the payload and an identifying header that includes destination and reassembly information the packets are sent in triplicate to check for packet corruption every packet is verified in a process that compares and confirms that at least two copies match when verification fails a request is made for the packet to be resent. Number 2 is TCP slash IP protocol suite. TCP slash IP is a protocol suite of foundational communication protocols used to interconnect network devices on today's internet and other computer slash device networks. TCP slash IP stands for transmission control protocol slash internet protocol. Number 3 is router it is a networking device typically used to interconnect LANs to form a wide area network, WAN, and as such is referred to as a WAN device. IP routers use IP addresses to determine where to forward packets. An IP address is a numeric label assigned to each connected network device. Number 4 is the overlay network it is a data communications technique in which software is used to create virtual networks on top of another network, typically a hardware and cabling infrastructure. This is often done to support applications or security capabilities not available on the underlying network. Number 5 is packet over synchronous optical network. It is a communication protocol used primarily for WAN transport. It defines how point-to-point -point links communicate when using synchronous optical network. Number 6 is multi-protocol label switching or MPLS. MPLS is a network routing optimization technique. It directs data from one node to the next using short path labels rather than long network addresses, to avoid time-consuming table lookups. Number 7 is asynchronous transfer mode or ATM. It is a switching technique common in early data networks, which has been largely superseded by IP-based technologies. ATM uses asynchronous time division multiplexing to encode data into small, fixed-sized cells. By contrast, today's IP-based Ethernet technology uses variable packet sizes for data. Number 8 is Frame Relay Frame Relay packages data in frames and sends it through a shared frame relay network. Each frame contains all necessary information for routing it to its destination. Frame Relay's original purpose was to transport data across telecom carriers' ISDN infrastructure, but it's used today in many other networking contexts. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.